Alright guys, I am back again with some new game funds. As always, let's jump right into this. I have a couple of Black Friday funds from last year that came a little later in the mail and weren't shipped out immediately. But from Best Buy, I got Star Wars Battlefront 2. And this was only $6.99 for the PS4. Of course, it's brand new, still sealed. The game dropped in price really fast. And it's probably about the same price now, even for the Black Friday sale. You can still find it for probably 8 to 12 bucks. But I'm not sure what to think of this, and I'm not going to play it anytime soon, but I was happy to get it for so cheap. Also grabbed from Best Buy, Pokemon Ultra Sun. If you guys looked at my recent videos, you know I didn't like Sun and Moon, just for various reasons. I kind of felt like the entire game was a side quest or a mini games, but I was able to get this for $19.99, and this game is not that old. It only came out, I think, November 2017, maybe, so it, it's pretty affordable. I guess it really didn't sell well, and you usually don't see Pokemon games on Black Friday sales. But 20 bucks, I'll grab that and I'll probably keep it sealed. There's really no need to play this, but I know it will increase in value. Okay, I've been buying a few different lots on eBay, just bidding on a bunch of stuff, winning some of it, losing other things. So for Xbox One, I got a lot of four games, and the price was about $9.78 each. The first game was Rise of the Tomb Raider. I think some of these have inserts and some don't. This one does not. I don't know much about this game, but I figure $10 was a fair deal. I got Injustice 2. Some of these cases came cracked too. I don't think they were cracked because I was kind of shaking out pieces of plastic. But I'm not really going to hold it against the seller. It was obviously the post office fault. This one does have an insert. And these games are not worth more than about 10 or 15 bucks each. Dark Souls 3. Of course, a great game for the collection. And Call of Duty World War II. I'm probably just going to resell this one because it's still going for like 16 bucks. I'll recoup some of the money and then I can buy this later on when it drops to $4 because it definitely will. The next lot of games is another game. Uh, a lot of four, and these were eight fifty each. Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain, and this is Day One Edition. Not like it makes a huge difference, but it has some inserts and a large map too. For eight fifty, that's a fair deal. Next up is Shadow of Mordor. This game was sitting at twenty five for a while because I was trying to buy it. And this case is really cracked to shit. I'm going to have to replace this later on if I don't wind up selling this. I got XCOM 2, which is about an $8 game, so I may be stuck keeping this. We'll have to see. And finally, Destiny 2. It says requires internet. I don't know much about this game. I'm wondering if it's online only, but I haven't really looked into this yet. I don't play online with my Xbox One, and I, I'm not going to buy a Gold Pass just to check this out. So I'm not sure what to do with this yet. I would think to have some sort of offline campaign, but it's not really seeming like it. So I definitely stocked up on some Xbox One games here that will be nice into the collection. I do want to start reselling on eBay again, so I'm going to continue to buy lots. These are going straight into my collection. I'm trying to beef up with quality titles and then sell the junk that I don't need. So that was it for this video. Leave a comment below. Find me on Twitch. I'll see you next time.